Well, you're in luck. Now that I've now that I've cleaned this one out, I'm going to show you the other one and get my tripod out here. And I'm going to show you that video on this same particular video. And if you're just joining me, um, I'm going to show you how to clean out, unclog a sink drain in minutes. How long? Unclog. What does it say here? Unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains. Oh, my bad. It says in seconds, not minutes. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to mother's hallway bath room here and like I say I have not checked this yet I have not checked it I don't do stuff like that to make sure it's clogged before I before I show you and all that kind of stuff we've got we've got the light on here okay and I don't know why the light's not not very bright in here oh okay there we go Okay, this time I'm gonna pull this stuff off of here. I'm even gonna pull the, get the hand towel off of here. And we're gonna, we're gonna check this thing. I'm gonna fill it up with water. I've got my simple, my simple grain here and my sponge for cleanup. When I get all done, I'm gonna clean it up. I've got my my zip it tool here and I've got this other thing it's not a zip it it's something it's something slightly different than a zip it but it still has a little prongs on there it's got the, the finger pull it's a little bit more flexible and if you've never used this look at this it's called the zip it we just opened it like that that way I use the carrying container and put it back in unclog your sink shower and bathtub drains in seconds and believe it or not you can fish this down a bathroom drain I've done it before in fact on my mother's bathtub once upon a time okay now we're gonna we're gonna see if this one's clogged oh man this is not clogged it's going down quick look at this Now, if your sink drain and your water goes down that quick, you know you don't have a, a sink clock, okay? But just to humor mother, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this and see if I can't get anything down. The idea is you just put this down where this pop-up valve is, and the pop-up valve usually you can't pull it out because there's a prong in there that's attached to your pull up here, and it usually goes through the pop-up make it go up and down okay well sometimes they don't have it through the hole and, and you can just wedge your fingers or, or push this up and then pull this out if you can do that good on you then you can pull all you can pull this straight up and all, and then you can clean all the hair off of your pop-up that's what we're going to be doing here we're cleaning the hair off of the pop-up valve not necessarily uh, down into the trap and see I don't I don't really think there's going to be much in in this one we only use this one to wash our hands and stuff but she wanted me to check it anyway and I can tell it's it's the whole thing is just not as stiff as the uh, as the zip it one but maybe if, th if this one is all you have fine go ahead and use it I'm just pushing it in and I can I can feel I can tell that it, that there's nothing there's really nothing in there okay but I'm going the extra mile for mother just to humor her and if you had something in there you could just push it back and forth you know and try to get it out but see there's not there's really not much in there at all I'm not even going to use the zip it tool because I'm not going to get much of anything else out of there, okay? And see, you're, you're going to get, after a while, you're going to get some of your prongs uh, pulled out because you get it, you get it uh, stuck in there. So these, these will only last so long, okay? 
See, this this will still work for a while. And on my on my uh, my zip it, this one's still really rather new. See, this is how the prongs are when you first pull it out. But um, they'll they'll get standing straight up, or they'll break off, or or bend over, kind of like that. And um, if it gets really bad at the end, you can always snip that portion off and then use the rest. And I've got I've got one at home where it's only about this long, you know. And I use that first, and then I'll use my good one after that, so I don't have to use the good one as much. Yeah, granted, they're only they only cost like uh, it's less than five dollars. I, I think it might be uh, two. Two ninety nine. They used to be like ninety nine cents. Can you believe that? And then they were a dollar ninety nine. Then two ninety nine. And uh, in fact, you might you might be able to get them now for uh, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, something like that. Okay. All right. Just just do a quick once over on your sink and and get all the grubbies that might have gotten on there from you doing this. Make it look like you were never there. That's what I like to do in all my projects. Whatever I do, whatever I do DIY, when I get done, I'm a master at cleaning up, making it look like I was never there. That's a sign of good workmanship. It will carry over into other parts of your life for sure. Okay. So remember that. Well that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Well, I can cross that one off my list.